Hi, I'm Ryan Tannehill, quarterback for the Miami Dolphins, and I represent the Finsider with the PH. Welcome back to SB Nation. I'm sitting here with Ryan Tannehill, new quarterback for Miami Dolphins. And before we get into all the interesting things, and this is actually pretty interesting too, what was your reaction just from a life perspective that you were moving to Miami? It's fun, you know, it's exciting. You know, I think it's an exciting place that everyone likes to visit and, you know, you always hear about Miami. So right. uh, to be able to move down there and, and kind of settle in, it's really exciting. Did you ever at any point say to anybody, I'm taking my talents to South Beach. I don't think I ever said that. <laughs> I think it's time. I think it's time next time you meet somebody, just tell them that you have my permission. Okay, as long as I have your permission. Yes, what do you know about the city of Miami itself, moving there as, as a new citizen? Don't know a whole lot yet. You know, I'm picking it up as, as I go along. Just kind of got settled in uh, for the first time last, late last week. So I've been there less than a week. I'm um, just kind of learning, learning the ropes as I go. You know, what I hear, it's a great city, a lot of things to do, um, and a lot of great food, which I'm really going to enjoy. So. Uh, you know, I have a lot to learn about the city and I'm excited to, uh, to get there. When you look back at the draft process, is there anything that stands out to you? You were a name, a lot of people had a lot of strong opinions about your value in the draft and where you'd end up. Is there any takeaways you can now, you know, sort of look inside and be introspective about, about the process? It was fun, you know, it was a long process, you know, going back to, you know, the end of the bowl game back in January. Uh, you know, it's a long four months leading up to the draft, so a lot of things happened, you know, I broke my foot, uh, missed the combine pretty much, you know, I was there, but wasn't able to perform any of the drills, so kind of missed that. Had my pro day, uh, and you travel around, and it's kind of a whirlwind experience. Uh, and to finally hear your name called to walk across that stage, uh, you know, it's a moment I'll never forget. Now, you're, you have a unique situation that maybe a year and a half ago, you were a wide receiver and now you're coming in as a top quarterback. Do you ever think about that and, and sort of the process that you, you've come along with? Uh, you know, I don't think about it too much until people ask me about okay. it, you know, so. I'm sorry. Um, no, it's great. <laughs> um, you know, it's definitely been a, a transition and it was a lot of fun, you know. I wanted to be playing quarterback my entire time at receiver, so uh, to finally get that opportunity, I didn't want to let it slip. And then, you know, to be here today, you know, uh, being, uh, being drafted by the Dolphins, uh, it's a dream come true. And we talked about sort of your experience and thoughts about moving to the city of Miami. What do you know, what did you know about the Dolphins? I know they have a rich, rich tradition, rich history, a lot of great players, uh, you know, some great quarterbacks in the Hall of Fame. Uh, you know, Dan Marino is a guy that, that you know, was, was at his peak in my, my younger age. So a um, guy I looked up to and, and a guy that I can hopefully learn from, you know, as I move forward. What is your relationship like with the coaches? Obviously your college coach will be joining you in Miami, Coach Sherman, but what is your relationship like? What have, what have the discussions involved in getting to know them as a new draft pick? It's been fun, you know, I think uh, I know some of the coaches from just from College Station and playing at A&M, but uh, getting to know the new guys, or the guys that are new to me, I should say. Uh, coach Philbin's been great, um, you know, the, uh, the other coach has been great as well. So uh, it's definitely like you're a freshman again in college, you know, right. you come in, you try to feel, feel it out, you know, get to know everybody, uh, get to know everyone's personality. So um, it's a process, but it's a lot of fun. What's the familiarity like with you going? I mean, it's, it's not, I guess, an entirely new system because it's Coach Sherman, but do you know about about not necessarily how you're going to be used, but how you fit in with, I mean, your skills with what the Dolphins are trying to do offensively. Yeah, I think it's pretty much the same offense that we ran at a and I mean, we have some new stuff and some stuff we changed up, but uh, the foundation, the majority of it's the same. So uh, I think it, it really suits me, I guess, since it's, I've, I've played in it for the past four years and I'm really familiar with it. So uh, I definitely think the, the West Coast offense is good for me. Have you spoken to any of your new teammates yet? Yeah, I have, you know, what, what has I, that been like? It's been fun, you know. You see these guys, you know, going back to my high school days. They were the guys that were that were big in college, and then, uh, you know, guys you see playing on Sundays. So uh, it's fun to be in the locker and be around those guys, get to know those guys, and just see them play. You know, it's fun to to see these guys play. They're so good at their craft, and uh, it's fun to be a part of that and, and work on my craft as well. What do you think is going to require the most focus for you going forward, especially with training camp around the corner? Is it is it playbook stuff? Is it getting used to the speed of the game, looking ahead to a longer schedule? What do you think requires the most focus from you? I think it's going to be uh, getting used to the speed of the game. You know, I think the, the playbook stuff, since I kind of have the background there, it'll be a little bit easier. But, right. um, you know, I haven't played an NFL game. I haven't really been a part of a, a full NFL practice. You know, I had the rookie mini camp, but, um, you know, it hasn't been with the whole team yet. So uh, it's going to be adjustment, you know, getting used to the speed of the game, the speed of the defenses, you know, the, the way they disguise things, the way they move around. So 
Uh, I'm looking forward to that. It's going to be a lot of fun, but it's definitely going to be a learning process. Have you started looking at film of the defenses that you're going to be up against? You know, the AFC East is not, it's not a light conference. No, no, it's definitely a, a lot definitely division, tough, yeah. tough division. Yeah. Uh, a lot of good teams that we're going to play this year, you know, especially in our division. So I did, I got some film on the iPad, you know, trying to just get an early look, take some notes down uh, of teams we're going to be facing this year, you know, just to kind of get a background. And so it's not uh, the first time you're seeing it when you, when you get ready for the week. What stood out to you, player-wise, scheme-wise, within the division? Um, you know, both. You know, there's there's such a variety of, of schemes in, just in, within the division and, and a lot of great players. So um, you just have to get to know each team and their tendencies and, um, you know, respected players that, that are going to be out there making plays. His name is Ryan Tannehill, new quarterback, Miami Dolphins. Thank you very much for your time. Good luck. Thank you. Thanks for having me.